This is a hypermature Morgagnian cataract. After making a puncture on the anterior capsule, the milky fluid is aspirated. And then, since this is a very hard cataract, a large rexis is done. And then the nucleus is divided into two heminuclei. This is the first crack. Lateral separation should be very gentle, equal on both halves, rotate on 180 degree, make two or three sculpts to go to a deeper level, hold the heminucleus inferiorly and along the initial crack divide the two heminuclei completely. And now see what happens. This is one heminucleus, trying to divide it into two fragments. There's a crack in the periphery, but at the center, the two fragments are joined to each other by leathery fibers. I try to tilt this heminucleus and try to get the edge we could not get it this is the other heminucleus going through the substance through a deeper plane and getting a nice crack but again only at the periphery could not separate the two fragments completely now I go through a deeper plane and try to get the edge. The people is coming down, size of the people is becoming less. The size of the people is about five millimeter or four point five millimeter now. Now what to do? The two fragments are joined to each other by leathery fibers. This is the technique. Take two Sinsky hooks or a blind chopper and a Sinsky hook in my right hand is a blind chopper going behind and the Sinsky hook is above and the two fragments are completely separated from each other. Rotate come to the other heminucleus, tilt, the chopper goes behind, the Sinsky hook works from above, cuts the leathery fibers and the fragments are completely free now. So this is a technique. There are many techniques. This is one technique. If you can't separate the fragments if there are some leathery fibers joining the fragments inject visco take two Sinsky hooks or two small chopper or on small chopper on hook whatever it is the blunt instrument goes behind inject visco push the posterior capsule behind tilt the heminucleus go behind and above there is another instrument which is a Sinsky hook if you just press or if the two instruments if the leathery fibers are between two instruments you can just separate you can just tear it off the leathery fibers and you can make the fragments completely free and then the fragments are emulsified. Now let us see the emulsification of the fragments and implantation of an intraocular lens. You can make out this is a very tough case, very hard nucleus. The ultrasonic energy in this case is 
85 percent flow rate is 40 ml per minute vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury this is Oatly Caterix 3 vacuum machine since the shaft of the vacuum needle is narrower than the tip of the vacuum needle there is a lot of fluid around the shaft and you will not get a wound burn with this kind of vacuum needle even with this hard cataract and the ultrasonic energy is being delivered in continuous mode I'm stopping in between but when I'm delivering the new energy ultrasonic energy it is in continuous mode and now comes the tricky part though the chamber is stable there is no surge but still there is a risk of posterior capsular rent during emulsification of the last piece you can see there is no epinuclear cushion this hard nucleus and then posterior capsule so in such cases we can decrease the parameters we can decrease the vacuum flow rate and we can emulsify this last piece but still there can be a risk of catching the posterior capsule the safest technique after so much hard work is using an IOL as scaffold for emulsification of the last portion of the last piece so here I come out inject visco see the main wound there is no wound burn inject visco and as I inject visco the small nuclear piece goes towards 6 o'clock we can see the capsular back completely and now uh, hydrophobic acrylic single piece intraocular lens is placed in the capsular back since the intraocular lens is thinner it goes on the posterior part of the capsular bag and there is lot of space to emulsify this portion of the nucleus care should be taken to be away from the corneal endothelium as well as little distance away from the lens so that we don't damage the optic of the lens by the ultrasound it is done so this is the technique thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon a tough time is going on but we will overcome this time just review your work this time and get prepared to do better work when the situation gets over the pandemic COVID-19 gets over